What's up everybody? Well, I got another video for you guys today, and today I'm finally upgrading my storage solution for my YouTube channel and for the house. Well, ever since I started taking my YouTube seri more seriously, I've been kind of using this 5 terabyte USB 3.0 hard drive. I guess I got 5200 RPM, like a laptop one, just kind of shoved into one of those, but I liked this one because it doesn't require any extra power besides this. A lot of the other ones require you to have it plugged in or something, and that was annoying, so I didn't like that. And yet, it was way cheaper than a lot of the SSDs, since I wanted lots of space. There wasn't really any 5 terabyte by SSDs out and if there were they were like a thousand dollars plus probably anyway though so what I decided to do was grab myself a Synergy disk station see there we go now you guys can see this is a two bay it's got a 64-bit quad core two gigs of RAM and it can apparently have over 20 terabytes of raw capacity which is good because I guess we can just kind of get this guy out of our way now we don't want to hurt that that's still got all my data on it that's still gonna be a good backup but to go along with it I also got Two of these, two 14 terabyte Western Digital hard drives. And a lot of you said these are really good uh, drives for this kind of application. So why don't we open this uh, up and see what we all get in the package, shall we? All right, let's see what we got in the box. I'm sure Misty's gonna wanna try to jump up here and investigate, or she'll get scared and run away, one of the two. So what do we get in our package here? We got ourselves a little foam. This is probably the unit itself. Come on out of there, you. We'll just set that there for a second. I'm imagining everything else we get, yep, is in here so what do we got we got ourselves a power cord all right we got the power brick itself so it uses kind of like one of those laptop style ones with one of those connectors yep there she goes she's like "Ooh, you have things that sound like plastic well here i am we got our install guide oh next time i turn my computer screen on and then this is probably an ethernet yep and you get yourself a gigabit ethernet cable really nice quality looking one too all right is that everything oh nope there's also a little baggie of screws for some reason. I'm sure the instructions will let me know. It's probably for installing the drives. That's probably what it's for. And after that, nope, there's nothing else. That is it, nothing else in the box. So now let's move on and get a closer look at all this stuff. All right, there's just a quick little layout of everything you get in the box. Besides these two guys, you also get your guide and your screws. So that's everything that comes in the box. So again, ethernet cable, gigabit, power cable, or part of the power cable, the part that goes in the wall. Then you got yourself your power brick, which there's some more info on it. It appears to be a 60 watt brick, but that's probably plenty. I can't imagine hard drives using more than 60. There's all that. So now let's take a quicker, whoa, quicker look at that. See, here's the front of it. I guess it comes right off. Almost thought I broke it. And then we'll just take a quick look here. Here's the two drives. You just just push, try to release them. You got yourself a USB, reset, power, status, LAN, and then your two hard drive lights. You've got some uh, branding, which is also uh, venting. You can actually see right through it. And then in the back here, you got yourself what looks to be an 80 millimeter cooling fan. Two more USB 3.0s. There's your gigabit LAN. And here's a little bit more uh, branding, which is also mesh E. Well, kind of like mesh, but it's ventilation. And I might as well leave that off because we're going to be putting drives in it in a second. So I'm going to go read the instructions real quick and uh, we'll get some hard drives installed in this guy and see what we do from there. Well, all right, guys, we've got these all in their little slot. Now you can see they're 14 terabytes. Now these are recertified. Decided to take a risk because any big hard drives like this cost a shit ton of money and I don't really want to spend it. So now we're just going to put these back in. Oh. I'm imagining maybe it goes like this. The car only goes in one way, I imagine. Yep. There we go. Oop, putting it in the wrong way again. There we go. And there we go. Now those are all in there, they're all, uh, all attached. So now why don't we move on to the next step? Okay, well, I finally decided on a spot for it. I wanted to kind of put it like next to the router, but there's really nowhere to like set it right next to it on that box. That router kind of takes up the whole box. So I'm just gonna set it right over there. Should be pre pretty fine. I don't think air conditioning air is gonna hurt it or cause condensation or anything. Obviously, if that is a bad idea, someone in the comments let me know before I ruin shit, but I wouldn't think it would hurt anything. So now let's power this thing up and initialize these drives and hope to God this thing actually works and none of the drives came, you know, broken or whatever. So let's go check it out. Well, all right, after it booted up for about five minutes or so, it finally like came on. So you're greeted with this screen. I did 
want to screen record this and make it more professional, but of course, Nvidia decided, hey, you're not gonna screen record. Screen recording doesn't work. You can't do that on this computer. Alt F9 does nothing. Going into the uh, Nvidia experience thing and hitting record does nothing. Just doesn't do a thing. No idea why, but I don't really screen record much on this computer anyways. It's kind of a silly problem to have, but it would have made this video not, not a, lot, bleh, a lot nicer. So anyway, let's connect to it. Yes, I've agreed to that. All right, continue. All right, now what's it gonna do? Welcome, setup. All right, let's do that. All right, install now. All right, I guess we're gonna let it do its thing. Don't know how long it's gonna take, so we'll just come back. All right, well, after about 10, 15 minutes, minutes ish, we are greeted with this screen. So let's start. All right, let's pick a device name. Let's just call it, call it the NAS. Administrator account name, I'll just make it my usual. I can't type it all right now. God dang it. There we go. Man, oh my God. Yeah, we're not gonna be doing none of that. All right, I'm gonna create some passwords and we'll go on. All right, that was quick. As soon as you hit go, it like sat there for like a second or two and then brought me to this screen. So what do we got? We can automatically install or import DSM and package updates, which is recommended. Can automatically install the latest updates ourselves or we can have it notify us. So I guess I'll just let it automatically do shit because I don't really know what I'm doing with these yet. All right, create an account. All right, well, I'll create that real quick. All right, after that, it brings us to this this screen I don't really think I'm gonna be needing to use that right this second so why don't we skip that all right what do we got here around the clock monitoring protection configuring back all right okay it says my disk station is working well so we can now create storage pool and volume so let's do that all right now this is the part that is for gonna be for different people I want to use this top one because I want it to I want to be able to add to this later like later on if I become like got like 50 or like 20 to 1000 30,000 50,000 subs I can get like a four slot version of this add two more 14 terabyte drives and it will double my storage pretty much since it uses one of them base one of the drives basically as like storage as to my understanding so I should just have like 14 terabytes when I'm all done with this but as you guys can see there's also just raid one basic jbod or raid zero so all right why don't we now hit next all right we want to do that yeah all right eh, let's not do the well let's perform a drive check you know but let's let it do that and then we'll come back all right after it's all done with all that you'll be brought to this screen and I was afraid of this my drives were a little too big and they weren't supported either so it had me lower my whatchamacallit a little bit it can only do 13 although that might just be what it is once it's done formatting I don't know you know how it's like you never get the full amount like if you get a one terabyte drive it's not like you get all one terabyte of that it ends up formatting to be like 933 or something maybe that's all it is I don't know but let's hit apply it's gonna say everything will be erased on these. They're brand new, they're not on anyway, so okay. We're just gonna let it do its thing, build its uh, thing, yep. It's just saying it's de uh, degraded. I don't know what that's talking about. Anyway though, I'll let it do its thing and we'll come back whenever it's done doing whatever it is it's doing. All right, well, it actually, it's not done yet, but it actually did bring me to another screen, like literally right as I was shutting the battery off. Cool, let's take a quick, a quick thing or a quick tour, why not? Okay, all right, that sounds good. Anyway, what else do we got here? Simple setup, enhanced security, store manager data, of course. That's the whole point. We can back up data, of course. So I could pretty much back up all my PCs, all three of them to that thing as well, if I wanted. And then you could even do a complete. So that's cool. Huh? It's gonna take 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, we certainly won't be finishing uh, this video up the way I wanted. So why don't we just end the video now and then we'll come back. At, oh wait, no, it's dropping. It's dropping. All right, well, I'll make my decision later. I'm probably just going to go in the video right now though because it's pretty much complete. As soon as this is done, you use it as a NAS. So let's go wrap this video up, shall we? Well, all right, guys. It's about time to wrap this video on up. It's just sitting down there building its uh, raid configuration. It says it's gonna take like 16 hours last time I looked, like 15.58 or something like that. So basically 16 hours. So I was gonna wait and see what it says when it's all done, but I wanna be able to get this video done and start editing it. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to use the NAS to transfer videos while I do that, but my next laptop video will probably be transferred to this from the laptop and then to my computer instead of 
using my uh, external hard drive as I've been doing. Now I can just use that as just backup and storage and whatnot. Anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a nice little experience for me. I don't usually do networking or anything like this, so I'm a complete noob at it, but hopefully you enjoyed watching me try this out. And until the next video, peace out guys.